Yo, what is good, YouTube? Made up here, back with another video, guys. We have some breaking news coming out of Pittsburgh. The Steelers are signing former Giants linebacker Tay Crowder off of their practice squad. The Steelers are actually making a pretty nice signing here. I love Tay Crowder and what he did at Georgia, and I feel like as a seventh round pick, he's been really, really good for the Giants. I'm not sure why he got demoted to uh, their practice squad, but hey. They're, the Steelers are getting an absolute stud in Tay Crowder. Before we get into this video, though, hit that like button. Get the video up to 50 likes. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're going to be posting a ton of break news, highlights, and analysis videos all year long. So you guys will be up to date with every single roster move in the NFL or NBA. So make sure you guys subscribe and join the family. But without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So like I said, Jay Crowder was selected by the Giants in the seventh round of 2020. Mr. Irrelevant. He was literally Mr. Irrelevant, and he's actually been pretty good. Tay Crowder played in 13 games this year with the Giants. Eight starts. He recorded one sack, a forced fumble, and a pass uh, defended this year. Um, he's played in a total of 40 games with 28 starts in three seasons for New York. Um, 20 out of those 28 games, 23 of them have been starts. I mean, when you talk about a guy who's a seventh round pick playing starting pretty much 90% of his career games, absolutely incredible. Um, he amassed 229 tackles, including 122 solo tackles, two sacks, eight passes defended, two interceptions, and two forced fumbles throughout his career at the Giants. I think this is an absolute steal for the Steelers. Like I said, I don't know why he was on their practice squad, but the Steelers absolutely get a steal, adding him with Miles Jack and Devin Bush and a hey, Congratulations, Steelers. You guys got a hell of a ball player here pretty much for free. I feel like it's a low-risk, high-reward situation here for Pittsburgh. Um, a guy you get for free, if he plays well, there you go. You get a, a brand-new linebacker in the system in the rotation. If he plays bad, okay, you cut him, pretty much lose zero money since you um, you know picked him up off the practice squad. Um, and like I said, he's probably as maybe one or this is his last year of his deal. So you re-sign him to a nice little deal if he plays well. If not, you let him go in free agency. I think this is an amazing deal. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this signing for the Steelers. And I will see you guys on the next video.